Okay, hello. Let's get this recap started. Meet Fernanda. She's walking this donkey to church. She makes it back to the church and runs into Ginevra. Ginevra asks Fernanda where she was last night. Fernanda says the donkey escaped and she went to go find it in a very annoyed tone. Ginevra says this isn't the only night Fernanda wasn't home, to which Fernanda tells her to mind her own business. The gardener Larko suddenly arrives and kindly greets the two nuns. They begin yelling at him and cursing him out. He leaves. Maria is asking Fernanda where she was in the morning, to which Fernanda replies, chasing after the donkey, saying she'll make sure it doesn't happen again. We then meet Alessandra, who's looking out her window whilst making an embroidery. We cut to Fernanda and Ginevra talking smack about Alessandra, and we find out Alessandra is rich. Ginevra, who we can assume is the church gossip, is snitching to the head nun, Maria, about Fernanda constantly losing the donkey, to which Maria tells her to mind her own business. Ginevra then sees a book she probably shouldn't have seen. Let's cut to Alessandra, who's talking to her dad. He tells her she has to stay at the church for a little while longer while he gathers enough money. The three nuns are walking together when they spot Larko and begin yelling at him and berating him for just looking at them. They then begin to put hands on him. Larko decides to quit. This lord and his lady are eating. The wife and the servant, Maceto, begin eyeing each other. We cut to them sleeping together when they're caught by the lord of the manor. He heads over to the commoner's quarters but can't make out who he saw with his wife. The wife starts turning to a loose cannon and she starts getting drunk and kissing Maceto in public. The guards chase after Maceto who runs into the forest and escapes. He sees the head of the church, Tommaso, struggling with his items. Maceto helps Tommaso gather the items, and Tommaso tells him he can stay at the church. Tommaso gives Maceto a job, introducing him to the head nun Maria as a deaf mute so the girls hopefully won't attack him. Ginevra spots Maceto and introduces herself, but he says nothing, acting as if he's deaf. Alessandra and Fernando watch Maceto work. He smiles at them. Fernando loses it and attacks Maceto, asking him who he is. Maria comes over and introduces the sisters to Maceto. Maceto walks over to his quarters and Ginevra spies on him. She sees Alessandro walk into his quarters. Alessandro starts to vent to Maceto who looks stressed. Fernanda comes over and they see Alessandro walking out of his quarters. Father Tommaso and Maceto are having a drink and Maceto says everything is fine and he likes it at the church. We see Fernanda reading a strange book when she hears a noise. She goes outside and sees a girl. Her name's Marta. Marta says they should get a drink. Fernanda and Marta go to Alessandro's quarters to drink. Ginevra catches the girls and they bring her inside. They get Ginevra drunk to stop her from snitching. Marta tells the girls about sex. We then see that Marta and Fernanda seem to be pretty close as they start to kiss. While the two are making out, they start undressing a drunk Ginevra. Fernanda takes Ginevra to her room and they sleep together. Alessandra gives Maceto a towel as a gift. She then suddenly kisses him. The two are about to get it on in a ditch when Maceto suddenly stops himself. Alessandra apologizes and leaves. While at church, Fernanda notices the dirt on Alessandra and gets upset. Fernanda is washing clothes when Ginevra says she had fun with her. Fernanda tells her to stop talking. Fernanda goes to find Marta who begins putting something in her eye, doing some sort of ritualistic makeup type thing. The two then go to Maceto's cabin and start to kiss him. Maceto begins to resist the two at first, but doesn't try too hard to fight them off. The women begin sleeping with Maceto, who's pretty into it at this point. Just when things start getting hot and heavy, the girls suddenly leave. Ginevra confronts the two, asking them what's going on. She asks if last night meant anything to Fernanda. Fernanda says nah, it didn't, and leaves. Tommaso and Maceto are drinking together again, and Maceto says he'll stay permanently. He's probably still thinking about the encounters he had earlier. We see a bishop arrive at the church. While this is happening, Maceto sneaks into Alessandra's room and they begin sleeping together. A nun walks into the room but nobody notices her. Maceto finally notices the nun then hides. It seems she didn't notice them either. The bishop and the head nun also walk in and chop it up with Alessandra. Maceto sneaks out of the window. The clergy heads are all talking when Ginevra barges in saying Fernanda is acting strangely. Maria then escorts her outside. Ginevra begins imitating the same makeup tea leaf ritual she saw Fernanda perform, but since she's not being supervised, she inhales too much. It turns out these are no ordinary tea leaves. It's actually belladonna, or nightshade, and if too much is inhaled, it turns to a poison or extreme psychohallucinogenic drug. Alessandra barges into Maceto's room saying she heard him speak and asks what's going on. He tries to explain but Ginevra suddenly barges in as well, extremely high from the tea leaves and loss of blood. 
She starts telling on herself, saying she's Jewish and a lesbian. Someone else begins to walk in and Ginevra hides, finding Alessandra in the process. It's Fernanda. She walks in and kidnaps Maceto at knife point. The two girls follow her into the forest. They see naked women dancing and laughing around a fire. Fernanda and Marta are performing some kind of ritual on Maceto, seeming to be witches. Ginevra starts walking towards the fire, taking off her clothes. She begins to dance with the witches. Fernanda and Marta are about to sacrifice Maceto when he pleads for his life. They respond by gagging him. The witches stop dancing when they spot Ginevra. Ginevra starts to lose it, and Marta goes over to calm her down. Alessandra takes this opportunity to try to stop Fernanda, all the while questioning Maceto. Ginevra knocks out Marta with a rock and runs off with the donkey. Ginevra runs to the church, waking everyone up, including the bishop. Everything comes to a head when Ginevra starts snitching out Alessandra, Fernanda, and Maceto, who in turn begin to snitch her out as well. The bishop takes them all to the head sister, Maria, who walks out of her quarters with Father Tommaso. We cut to the bishop hosting a tribunal for each of the sisters. He begins listing out a very long set of crimes, which, well, are all pretty true. Father Tommaso is banished to become a monk. Maceto is taken back to answer for his crimes, and the sisters go back to daily life. The girls hang out on a hill and apologize to each other. Fernanda says she thought she could turn them all into witches and they could just vibe out together. And all the girls smile. Let's check back on Maceto and see what he's up to. He's sitting in a cell when he's approached by the lord of the castle. The lord starts telling him all the torture devices he's going to use on him. Maceto starts asking the guards to let him go and they start laughing at him. The soldiers are tricked and distracted by a turtle walking in with a candle while the three sisters sneak in to break Maceto out. The sisters and Maceto are running and making their great escape all the while laughing. We see Sister Maria who is meeting up with Tommaso in secret. They hear the girls coming and they hide. Fernanda spots the donkey but pays it no mind and runs off. Tommaso and Sister Maria run away together as well. The End <laughs>